So welcome to issue four um, and this week we have uh, one fret with two parts on it and we have a bag of I'm just going to call them bits and bobs for now. Uh, we have got uh, the parts list is piece number 12 which is uh, front chassis fixer plate and this piece 13 is the rear chassis fixer plate and you can see there's a couple of score lines in there so we can assume we're going to be doing some bending and um, we've got four by four millimeter screws and we have got two spacers I believe the spacers are going to go there somewhere so eventually this is last week's part so that will obviously go there so we can have another part come in and I guess these screws are going to go into there um, let me just have a quick look um, yes I can see they're going to go in there so what I'm going to do is that just to keep these safe I'm just going to pop these screws into the spacers that's one less thing to worry about then isn't it I noticed that they haven't given us spare parts um, now in the other part works that I've received you tend to get a spare screw so I wonder if we get a spare screw because people would complain maybe one's missing um, or they lost one and they need to order another one you know and the cost of a screw is is literally pennies isn't it so what we'll do is we will remove these parts and clip what we're going to do next is we actually want piece uh, this piece here and what we're going to do is we're going to bend this up to an angle and it's eventually going to go in here like like so that doesn't look right does it is right okay so that's going to go in like that eventually this piece here that tab wants to go into there so once we we this is always an advantage to look ahead um so let me just double check that because it doesn't seem to be so we want to take the fixer plate using a metal rule as a guide score along the x line and hold the fixer now bend the end down 90 degrees so that's not a problem so we will bend bend rather than bend the whole lot in one go I'm just gonna bend one side then the other Oh, that's not quite 90 degrees. I actually forgot to score the line further. Which I don't think will be a major problem. So this isn't a set square but this will be a good gauge. So that will eventually go into there like so. Now it hasn't told us to, to glue it on. But it is actually attached so check that the tabs of the fixer plate are on the appropriate slots adjust the angle of the belt until they do you may need to enlarge uh, that's interesting i wonder if okay so that doesn't tell us to glue that on but in the finished model in the finished piece that is definitely on so that's that's interesting so it's okay we don't need that on anyway now this one is going to go on the opposite side and this is going to go on let me have a look right so this piece is coming underneath like that this piece is going to come up and into not into there right I might have this right let's do it the opposite way around then 
that's going to there, that's going to there, that's coming down at an angle, that one there, okay that hole might need enlarging. Okay, let's let's follow the instructions. So, so now both end both ends need to be bent 90 degrees. I'm not doing this too quickly. I don't want to generate too much friction and risk snapping it. Especially with the age of this part work, it's going to be very hard to get a replacement. That's actually a bit bent in the middle. Okay, I'm happy with that. And I'm happy with that. So now we'll bend the other side. And the best way I'm finding to score it is to actually move the pliers in as close to the score line as you can. It then restricts where it can bend. If you say we were bending this there, if we held it there, you want it to bend there, but it could equally bend anywhere along there. Obviously that's a really bad example to use. So this one's a little bit harder to check because I've already got that end. Okay, so now bend, let's see if I've got this the right way around. Bend the part upwards. So we need to bend both of these at about 45 degree angle. So at this stage, I'm just gonna have to estimate 45 degrees. But 45 degrees is about half a right angle. So I would say this one wants to go a bit more and this one wants to go a bit more. It's about, obviously you've got 90 degree, 90 degree and 245 so that makes three quarters of a square. So that should give us about that much left over. So let's see if we've done that correctly. Okay, this makes very little se- ah! No. I think... There we go, that's where I- Oh. This doesn't fit. Unless that wants to go down more. I think this actually wants to sit on the end. That's why the tab didn't fit. Okay, so that bit wants to go a bit more and that one wants to go a bit less. So we're just going to keep manipulating this until, there we go, that would be the correct angle. So the tabs, this tab wants to go into there. The next tab wants to go into there. Now this tab there doesn't want to go in that hole, it actually wants to go on the outside. So it's going to make it sit flush like that. And then the last tab is going to go into that hole there. So yeah, always look at the instructions, or look at the pictures, and then it all begins to make sense. So what it wants us to do now is to glue this in I want to keep double checking the instructions because I, I'm not confident with this bit. I can't remember where it goes now. It goes there. But I wonder if maybe that will get secured in by the two halves coming in later on. Um, okay, not a problem. So, right, we'll get my glue now that we know where it's going to go. And I'm just going to tap. Uh, there we go, right. So a little bit along there, whoops, not too much. Remember gravity is not a good friend when your glue is like water. There we go. So we're gonna have to work fairly quick and we will get some working time with this. So you wanna be fairly precise, fairly sharp. To be honest with you, I don't think this 
absolutely desperately wants to be glued in because you see we've got some tabs and I think that once the other half is brought in I think that that will attach I think we only want this glued just to hold it in um, it does say in the magazine be aware that this is very fragile let me read the actual bit until you have added the second chassis in issue 5 this section is quite frail so let me go back and check this I'm, I'm really unsure about this So, da, 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 take the scissors and adjust the angle of the bend until they do. You may need to enlarge the slots. Okay, that's it. It doesn't say anything about super gluing. Oh, glue the two tabs on their two chassis fixing plates. Okay, so we do glue this. It just doesn't tell us to glue us when we make this. What it actually wants us to do is glue them, make, make one, make the second one then glue them both which kind of makes sense because if you are doing test if you glue one in and then you're test fitting the second one you run the risk of damaging this so there we go I've got a little bit of excess glue there so I'm just going to leave that until it dries um, but that's that part done so next what we want to do we're going to need a screwdriver and look, we need a flathead screwdriver. I've never used a flathead screwdriver in a, in a part work build before. Um, remember, we do get um, we do get screwdrivers with this build, um, only because the person I bought this from was very kind enough to subscribe. However, I'm going to use my oil here. Just make sure it is a suitable screwdriver first, which I think that is. I wonder if I've got a better screw head for it. I think that would be a better one. Wow, I'm, I'm, it's actually caught me off guard. I've never used a flat head screw. I know it's not anything big really, is it? Right, so what we need to do... Just see if these are secure enough to handle. This is very, very loose. Whereas this has got lots of points of contact, this one's only got a couple. So as a result, it's very loose. So what we're going to do is we're going to be putting a support in there and another one in there. So what we need to do is just make sure that screw actually fits in the hole. It does warn us that we may need to um, enlarge the hole. Um, so I'm getting ready to do that. And my phone has just gone a little bit mental. I don't know why. And do you know, all of a sudden, I cannot find a single pair of tweezers. Here we go. So, my uh, Aurea bit does not seem to be magnetic. Right, so. It's a bit of a pain, isn't it? So. Gotta find a clever way to do this now. That's actually fitting okay. Let me double check that's the right hole, uh, which it may. It's this one. It's this hole here, not that hole there. So it's this one and this one. So I've got that totally wrong there, haven't I? So I'm finding I can actually hold the screw. No, I'm not finding I can hold the screw. I'm just going to try and get this started by hand. I think the hole doesn't need enlarging. I may be wrong though. This screw, it's not going to be screwing the side. It's actually going to be screwing into, into the spacer. So it doesn't, if we do need to enlarge that hole, doesn't matter if we make it too large because that's gone through okay so what we will be doing there is we will be adding this spacer so let's 
This is a little bit awkward to hold. Once we get the spacer started, it should go in a lot easier. So here we are, we've been doing bending and gluing. And now we are doing screwdriver. So that's the first space we're in. I'm going to keep that screw in. In fact, I'm going to screw it further in. That way we won't lose the screw for when we will need it. So the second one is going to go in um, here. Okay, that's going to be tricky. Um, if you do need to enlarge the hole, I'm going to I'm going to enlarge it just might as well just put that that file in and just run it round. In fact, actually, I have a tool that I got with another part work, and it's um, actually designed to make a screw hole. I don't know if it's meant to do it in plastic. Uh, sorry, if it's meant to do it in metal, but. Oh, there you go. That that's that's done it fine. Look. So I might get the opportunity to show you that in another another issue. So I can't get a purchase on this head. This has got a really really thin cut head. This is why one of the reasons why I do like Phillips screwdrivers, uh, Phillips screws, because you can get a much better purchase with them. It's a very shallow cut. It's just not very deep. So, um, it's not a major problem. We'll get there. We always do, don't we? So what I thought was going to be a very short issue is turning into a much longer issue, mainly because I can't hop the screwdriver. I'm really struggling with this screw. The, the screwdriver is slipping. It's just a very shallow cut. If it was a deeper cut. If I go back to that original screwdriver head, this is a little bit wider. I thought maybe it was going to be too wide. That's not a lot of difference, is it? So I just worry that I occasionally have the odd slip and um, if it embeds itself into this brass could damage that lovely detail. There we go, that's much better. I think it was slipping mainly because it was it was fighting against the the, uh, the brass hole. There we go, see how that's turning with ease now. So it wasn't that it wasn't the screw I mean I didn't blame the screw um, but it wasn't that it was too shallow it was um it's because it was still trying to cut a hole in this in the uh, the hole. So Maybe if I'd made that hole bigger, I'd have had a lot less trouble with that. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to pop that in there. I don't want to lose that before the next issue. And uh, we still have this from a previous issue, which let's, um, let's see if I can. There you go. I'm not doing this because this isn't necessarily where it lives. Um, I'm just trying to make my loose parts less loose so there we go I can put that on there until next week and then that's one less piece I'll lose okay so I enjoyed that issue um, I really did um, obviously I had a little problem there um, and I think that this is now encompassed what we've been doing you know we've been doing some bending and we've been doing some gluing um, but you know we're doing a little bit of screwing now which is nice um, and it's starting to build up you know we're, we're up to issue um, four and already we've got some large parts um, so what I'll do is in a future here we go I'll do it now actually 
Um, let's see if we can figure out how this is going to go. I think that's going to go that way. On there somehow. Maybe it's going to go that way. There we go. I think that's how that's going to go on, isn't it? So that's going to go on like that. And obviously we've got the, uh, the cab is going to go at the back. Can we see all of that on the camera? So let's turn it that way. So that's going to go on there. And I'm guessing that it just it fits there, look. Might not even go there. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't go like that. Um, maybe it goes. I don't know. So, but that's roughly what it's all looking like. See, I love the speculation. So already. Oh, let's move the camera out. I thought we'd be doing some detail work today, so that's why I moved the camera in. So yeah, already we're starting to get some uh, something together. Okay guys, so um, yeah, that's it and I will see you uh, hopefully for issue 5.